Hey everyone, Ivan with TDA Networks and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is me going over the assembly of an HP ProLine ML110 Generation 10 server. But first I wanted to go over the advantages of RAID 10 or RAID 1 plus 0. Combining these Two storage levels makes RAID 10 faster and resilient at the same time. If you need hardware level protection for your data and faster storage performance, RAID 10 is a simple, relatively inexpensive fix. RAID 10 is secure because mirroring duplicates all your data. It's fast because the data is striped across multiple disks. Chunks of data can be read and written to different disks simultaneously. So I started off by opening up the case and making sure that we had the proper uh, equipment internally just for the HP 110 Gen 10. As you can see in the video, I have already ins inserted the RAID, the HPE P408I-P uh, for P being for PCI uh, slot ready RAID controller. Now also on this video you'll notice that we have the HPE 96 watt smart storage battery. However what you're not seeing and due to this video and the fact that uh, we're still under um, very tight constraints with our inventory we're not seeing the actual battery holder. So for this uh, setup I did not have the uh, battery holder in the chassis, and that's the reason why you see it the way it is inside the computer. The next step for me was to go ahead and insert the four two and a half inch, two terabyte, 7200 RPM hot swappable hard drives, again from HP. Um, very self-explanatory. There is a locking mechanism on each one of these hard drives. We will go ahead and push the button uh, that will release the latch and you'll see that I am inserting these drives one at a time into each one of those bays. So finally it's time to go ahead and uh, close up this chassis. We've already installed the um, RAID controller, the P408I-P, the, uh, I, so something that I, I for, forgot to mention was I unplugged the controller cables for the hot swappable bay from the onboard motherboard and into the P408I-P RAID controller. Uh, as you can see from the video, I've already put in the air vent channel um, casings that go along for the computer so that it can properly uh, vent ventilate the chassis internally um, and I'm putting back the cover as well as the front facing cover and the side cover so now we're ready to boot up that server for the very first time with all our hard drives plugged in the RAID controller can um, inserted into the PCI slot and the controller cables from the hot swappable bay into bay one, uh, slot one and slot two of that P408I-P RAID controller. It is now time to use something called intelligent provisioning, provisioning that is configured or set up on this server. HPE uses something called intelligent provisioning to allow us to generate that RAID, whether it's a RAID 1 for two drives, RAID 5, which is three drives, or RAID 10, which in this instance is four two terabit hard drives. So for this part of the uh, installation, I was using ILO uh, to connect remotely onto the server in order to do this recording and I apologize I didn't make this screen much larger but as you can see I've already hit the F10 function key on the keyboard and on the lower bottom you can see F10 being highlighted. So once intelligent provisioning has booted up completely 
uh, on the initial setup you'll go ahead and choose your time zone <clears throat> make sure you're in the proper time zone and sync your with your system time once you choose on next you'll go ahead and accept the agreement and following the agreement you can just move forward into these are just general settings for DHCP or accessing your network and you choose next so now we're ready to create the array and here we are on the HP smart array controller page in this page is where we're going to go ahead and choose to create an array and this is the button or the area where we would go ahead and choose the array click on the array that's pulsating field um, the next page is going to be the amount of hard drives that we're going to choose the types of drives that we have are sas hdd and we're going to choose all four hard drives that i've installed on this computer the next option is going to be uh, choosing the RAID, the, uh, the type of RAID that we're going to be going with, which is a RAID 10, <clears throat> and choosing next. Finally, the page is, this page will be distributing or showing the types of hard drives that are on the selection for the RAID. And uh, at this point, we are ready to go and choose Submit. Now you can see that the array has been completed and the array has been set. Um, on this page, we can actually choose and see the same four hard drives that we had prior to the setup are up and running and they are in green status mode. So there you have it, everyone. We were able to install the hardware, set up the hard drives internally, um, boot up the machine in intelligent provisioning, go through the setup process to select your hard drives and generate a RAID 10 um, and get this machine ready for the next step, which is a true operating system. Now in this particular video, we're not gonna go into booting or loading a Windows 9 2019 operating system. This video was just to show how we can step-by-step uh, step as to how we move from assembling the uh, HP 110 Gen 10 um, with a RAID controller and four hard drives. Thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.